Welcome to part two of our orange and pink eyeshadow tutorial. Next, I'm going to go in with this pastel liner from Juvia's Place. The reason why I went in with pastel first was because it's going to help that very deep pink show up nicely. By itself, it wasn't so vibrant, especially on my dark skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara very nice i really like it i want i wanted to go in with a pink waterline liner but after i did it i really didn't like what it looked like so i went in with an orange waterline liner and i feel like it looks really really good i blended some of the orange eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then i went in with the ColourPop orange mascara listen ColourPop has amazing color mascaras so if you need some check them out you're gonna love it and just like that an orange and pink eyeshadow you didn't know you needed tell me this does not look good and tell me dark skin no one can resist a classic red lip for valentine's day if done right this look can make you look seductive mature and irresistible highlighting and accentuating your features while still giving that bold red lip I personally like to do my eyebrows while I wait for my primer to dry. Please do not forget your primer. The key to this look is a flawless matte foundation. Start with a bright under eye and make sure you give it time to set. And now I'm doing my favorite contour technique to really give me that snatched look. You're going to blend that contour out as much as you can and I wouldn't consider this underpainting but working in as little layers as possible. So I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation to help buff out that contour, but I'm going to avoid any spot where I put my concealer. Afterwards, I'm going to blend my concealer into my foundation. For a brighter under eye, I'm going in with a lighter concealer as well. To add some natural color, I'm going to use the Say You Do blush in the color Spicy, my favorite. Now it's time to bake my under eyes. Super important, I'm actually using a banana powder. Now because this is a classic look, I don't want to bring too much attention to my eyes, so I'm just doing a regular brown neutral color with a sharp wing, taking the second to appreciate such a good contour. And now I'm going to lightly go in with a little bronzer. I'm going to put a little on my forehead and I'm also going to do a very subtle nose contour. Using a fluffy brush to get rid of the excess powder and blend it all together. A little more powder blush. Time for my statement Dior red lipstick. The amazing one size mattifying setting spray. And we are officially done with this amazing classic look for Valentine's Day. Here's with the back camera, flawless chef's kiss, amazing.